Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a GCK account on IRCC's website. As we know, we need an account with IRCC website so that we can apply for immigration related applications online. Most of us already have a GCK account. For some who do not have a GCK account, I'll show you how to create one. Let's search create a GCK account on Google. Click the first website click register here you can see there are two options either register with the GC key or register with the sign-in partner to register with GC key these are the steps involved It's pretty simple, create your own username and password. And to register with the sign-in partner, these are the steps. Now, sign-in partners are groups such as banks and credit unions. So most of us have an account with Scotia Bank, and we use online banking. So when we click on register with the sign-in partner and choose Scotia Bank, it'll take us to Scotia Bank online banking page. And then we can just sign up using our Scotiabank account and we authorize to share the information with IRCC but most people use a GC key and let's see how to create a GC key account. Click register with the GC key account, press sign up, accept terms and conditions of use, create your username, click continue. Create your password, click continue, create your recovery questions and answers. Your GCK signup is complete, press continue. This is the welcome page of GCK account, click continue. Accept the terms and conditions. And right here, enter your given name and last name matching with your passport. Write given name in a given name section surname in the last name section but for some applicants they do not have a surname in their passports they only have given name in that case as you can see last name is mandatory but the given name is not so you have to enter your full given name in the last name section and leave the given name blank do not write any not applicable or dash it will create troubles. Just leave the given name section blank. Enter your email address and preferred language of notification. Click continue. Create your security questions and answers. And there you go. Your account has been created. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to create an Express Entry profile. For this video, this is it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have a good one.